So this is a tutorial guide for setting up triple monitors in Elite Danger specifically. And you could also use this uh, tutorial to apply to other games that you're having trouble spanning the window across multiple monitors. Um, the three things that you're going to need are, uh, right off the bat, you're going to need a program called Custom DSR Tool. You are going to need a program called Borderless Gaming, and you're going to have to turn on DSR uh, functionality in your NVIDIA control panel. And I only know how to do this with NVIDIA graphics cards, so I don't know how to do this in AMD or any other thing. So my current system setup is a six monitor uh, setup right now. and that you know most people say oh just use nvidia surround sound that's fine if you only have three monitors uh, but a lot of people i know don't want to also span their taskbar across three monitors and that can be and have your start button all the way on the left uh corner of the bar i like six monitors six taskbars you know that's how i prefer things i also am running three video cards in the system I'm running a primary card as an RTX 2070. Secondary card is an old AMD. I, I don't even know what kind of card it is, but it's just to run some of the other monitors. And then I'm also running the onboard Intel uh, video as well. So that's supporting uh, six monitors and a VR headset um, uh, all in my my battle station that I have set up here, which you'll you'll get to see the six monitors later in this video. So the first thing I want to uh, start with is the custom DSR tool. You're going to want to hit this web website, which will be in the description links. And I don't know how long this will be accessible, but this is a German site and I've right clicked and then uh, done translate to English. You know, if you want to read some of the German, really all you need to do is pay attention to this link right here. Click on that, download it. And once you get it downloaded, make sure you use your antivirus or whatever, scan it thoroughly, make sure, you know, there's no malicious code in there. Um, uh, even after you unzip it, there's going to be a exe file uh, like this custom dsr tool and that's it that's all there, there's going to be in that file it's just that exe so go ahead and set that off to the side and we're going to launch our custom dsr tool oh, actually before we do that we're gonna uh so once we got that installed we're going to go over to the nvidia control panel and we want to click on Manage 3D Settings here. And then scroll down and right here, DSR Factors. Uh, you want to make sure this is all checkboxed. You don't have to check every single one, but the, all this does is just provide you with extra resolutions to play with depending on what your card is. But make sure at least one of these is checked in order to have DSR turned on. Hey, how, how's it going, Aaron Daddy? I'm doing a YouTube uh, video recording right now. Uh, you're more than welcome to jump in the chat. You're just going to be immortalized in YouTube. So uh, once you do that, you are good to go. You can uh, close that window, and then you want to launch your custom DSR tool that you just downloaded. And uh, this box right here will be unchecked. You want to make sure and check that. You want to highlight it, click on Edit Entry, and then for me, I have three 1080p monitors, and uh, three of them add up the 1920 times three is 5760. So basically what I'm trying to do is span Elite Dangerous across all three monitors. And so the, you know, you could do this with other different sizes and monitors, um, and you can do multiple resolutions. I'm just focusing on just one that works, and you'll be able to see this live. So 5760 by 1080 uh, scale. This should be default 3 and 1, and then leave this alone. 
And then what that'll do is it'll put a resolution of 5760 by 1080. And then you click on create DSR resolution. Uh, once you click on that, uh, let me go ahead and turn on So your screens are going to flash, and then once everything comes back on, don't don't worry, it's meant to do that. So what you guys saw, All right, we should be back in business with my audio. Uh, Windows Mixed Reality loves to interfere with what I'm doing. So, all right, so once we've done that, that's ready to go. You can go back to your NVIDIA control panel. And what all that screen flashing was is basically resetting the video card driver. And then once it, once it does that, uh, you can go to under display, adjust desktop uh, resol or change resolution. And then in this list, uh, the DSR is actually, you know, all these resolutions right here. You know, this is before we even edited anything. But what we're, what we're looking for is down here under the Ultra HD, HD, and SD. Now we have this extra resolution, 1080p, 760 by 1080. This is really important because unless you have this in this populated list, you will not be able, like games won't actually show this in their list of resolutions. So this is what makes this tool so handy, handy is that now when I go into Elite Dangerous, this resolution will be available um, and then you don't want to try this in anything else except for windowed mode in games. Um, and then I'm going to get into that in a second. So before you even get, you know, like you get all excited and you want to, um, you want to jump into Elite Dangerous, you're also going to need to download a program called Borderless Gaming, which I'll also uh, put in the description. And I'll show you guys where that's at. Um, right here borderless gaming it's on git github and again download it make sure you scan it with your virus scanner make sure everything's legitimate um if this version doesn't work for you or uh I, i'm i forgot which version i'm uh, using right now but i'm using 954 and i'm also running it in administrator mode so I recommend that. I don't know what the latest version is, but you can look at it if you want to try out 956. Uh, for the demonstration purposes of this video, it's 954. Uh, so we'll go ahead and close that. So install it. Once you get it running, you want to launch it, and it'll, and it'll dock itself down here on the, the uh, uh, taskbar. And you want to right-click and click on Show. Um, so you're going to need to actually launch and run Elite Dangerous in order to get it to show up in this applications list. I already have a whole bunch of stuff here and, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove Elite Dangerous because I'm going to show you this from the get go. So you want to put that off to the side. I'm just going to put it up on another monitor and then now we're going to launch, uh, Elite Dangerous. And so the original resolution I'm doing here is 10, uh, just 1080, you know, 1920 by 1080. So the reason why you need borderless gaming is, yes, you can pick this new resolution now, but it's not going to be quite fit correctly in all three of your monitors. It'll be kind of okay and kind of not. Borderless gaming is a beautiful little program simple to use uh complicated to set up a little bit uh so here i have my 1080p resolution i'm, I'm in windowed mode here 
I don't. I'm not running Borderless because I actually use my Borderless gaming to uh, set that up. But under options, you go to graphics and you do display. And then, so there's my basic resolution. And you make sure that you're doing this in windowed because if you try it in anything else, it's probably gonna not work for you. Uh, but primary monitor, 1080 window, you wanna change your, your standard resolution. And if you notice, if you go down in the list, you're gonna have, these are your DSR resolutions, right? all the way up to 4K. And then right at the last entry here is your new 5760 by 1080 entry. So now you can um, you can change that. But before we do that, we wanna get back to borderless gaming and see this elite dangerous client that popped up on the list. We wanna click on the right arrow and get it over here. So as soon as I do that, if you notice the window shifted, right? And we'll move we'll, we'll move this off the screen again. So the window shifted and there's no more uh window, you know, top and the screen is nice and fresh. It's almost like it went straight in even though this is windowed, borderless gaming kind of turned it into borderless, you know, a borderless window. And then we'll use that in a second. But the next thing we want to do is we want to actually change the resolution to 5760 by 1080. Click on apply. And then you're going to say, oh man, something's not right. This is exactly what you want to see. And you want to click on yes. You want to see this squish screen because what it, what it is, is this is actually 5700 pixels going across the screen. Now we got to use uh, borderless gaming to get it expanded across the three monitors. So we're going to want to right click on this and left click to unselect full screen because it defaults on full screen. We want to right click again and we want to do set window size. Now it's gonna ask you, would you like to select an area using your mouse? Uh, this is a feature that I'm not gonna cover right now, but you wanna click on no, because we're gonna enter in our values directly. And the values we wanna use here, and the values are based upon the upper left-hand corner of the main monitor, the X, Y coordinates. So the left monitor is gonna be, on the X plane, it's gonna be minus 1920. So we want to put that in as our first X value. X location in the top left corner, all right? So our next value is going to be zero because we don't really want to change the upper left-hand corner position uh, because it's, it's not really going up or down from the corner of the monitor. It's staying on the same path. So we want to leave it at zero. Next one is window width. Uh, that's going to be our new 5760 because it's going to span three 1920s across three monitors. And then the last value is 1080, which is the height of all three monitors. You know, the, they don't change when you go between the monitors. And then once you click on that, it's all set and ready to go. Now, the last step here is you want to make sure and minimize this. Don't close it, because if you click on X, you'll close the program outright. You just want to minimize it, exit out of Elite Dangerous, and then I'm going to also turn on a, if it's going to work on me, I'll have to turn this on. There we go. All right, so now you can see all six of my monitors, and we're going to go ahead and click on play again. And you'll see all three of the bottom monitors. All right, borderless gaming just kicked in. It just shifted and filled out the border. You can go ahead and click. You'll notice the elite banner is way bigger than normal. And 
now you're in triple monitors and it, it, I'll go into solo play here. I'm parked in at Jameson Memorial and you'll be able to see that this, you know, it'll still center things on the main monitor, but you'll like you normally would, but now you get to see um, everything around you. And what I'll do is uh, I'm going to get my head tracking going. So you, so I can pan my head around. And it should take a second to kick in. No. I think it's working. There we go. All right, so now when I when I tilt my head around, you can see all three monitors are are being utilized in 1080 resolution. So it's as simple as that, <laughs> which isn't very simple, but you guys get the point. So that's how you set up uh, triple monitors. If you have any questions on the specifics of this, you can come and visit me on my Twitch stream. Uh, I'm more than happy to showcase things live if I'm not right in the middle of something. Uh, or you can post comments in the section below. Um, and the reason why I posted this video is because there used to be really complicated ways of trying to get triple monitors to work. And uh, those particular ways are, they no longer work with the new NVIDIA drivers. So I, I dug really deep on the internet, actually found a German post that had that program the, uh, to actually put that extra resolution in your NVIDIA driver. And uh, that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching. And uh, I'm trying to make a push for monetization so I can make money off the YouTube videos. That's why all the YouTuber, you know, YouTube videos say like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. The subscription, if I can get it up to a thousand subscriptions, then that will actually help me out. And if I can get more money from this, I can make more videos and so on and so forth. So. Try to support me if you like the video. If not, you know, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> Anyways, this is JD Splice signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.